क्लास ट्वेल्व मैथमेटिक्स एन सी आर टी न्यू डेली एंड कौशेम मणिपुर यूनिट्री कैलकुलस टॉपिक कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफ्रेंसीबिलिटी एक्सरसाइज मिसलेनस एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन चैप्टर फाइव differentiate with respect to x the function in exercises 1 to 11 differentiate derivative put y one here y equal to this therefore dy by dx is 9 times of this with the power 9 minus 1 that is i into derivative of base only derivative of this is 6x minus 9 into 1 plus 0 that is this simplifying we get 27 times of twice x minus 3 times of thrice x square minus 9x plus 5 all to the power i. For question 2, here y is sine cube x plus cos of 6 power x. Therefore, dy by dx is sine cube x is sine x whole cube whose derivative is 3 times of sine square x into derivative of sine x only that is cos x plus cos of x whole power 6 is 6 times of cos power 5x into derivative of cos x only that is minus sin x we get dy by dx equal to sin x cos x times of 3 sin x minus 6 cos power 4x for question number 3 here y is equal to 5x whole to the power 3 times of cos twice x We are taking log on both sides. We get log y equal to three cos of twice x times of log of five x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get four log y one by y into dy by dx equal to three. Taking out common, and uh, we have to apply product rule on right side. That is, cos twice x is treated as first function, and log of five x is second function. Pass function remains unchanged. Derivative of log 5x is 1 by of 5x into derivative of 5x only. That is 5 into 1. That is 5 plus second function log of 5x remains unchanged. Into derivative of cos twice x is minus 2 sine twice x. Therefore, dy by dx is 3 times 5x whole to the power 3 cos twice x times of cos twice x by x minus To sine of twice x log of five x. For question number four, we have to find out its differentiate or de derivative. Here y is sine inverse of x root over x. Therefore dy by dx is sine inverse of something whose derivative is one by root over one minus something squared into d by dx of something that is x times of root over x. And simplifying for this, we get x cube, x root over x, which can be written as x power three by two. Its derivative is three by two times of x to the power three by two minus one. That is x to the power half. Simplifying, we get this. Therefore, dy by dx is three by two root over of x by one minus x cube, which is the required derivative. For question number five, derivative of it. Here y is equal to this. Therefore, dy by dx is we have to apply quotient rule. Denominator square denominator remains unchanged in the numerator at first. Into derivative of cos inverse of x by two is minus one by root over one minus something square into derivative of x by two is half minus. Numerator remains unchanged. Into derivative of denominator is one by two root over of twice x plus seven into twice derivative of twice x plus seven is two. Simplifying, we get this, which is the required derivative. Number six, cot inverse. Here y equal to cot inverse of this. Simplifying, we get. One multiplying numerator and denominator by rationalizing factor of denominator, we get denominator is a square minus b square. Numerator is a plus b whole square whose expansion is this. Simplifying, we get cancelling two two and one uh, plus cos x is equal to two cos square x by two sine x is two sine x by two into cos x by two. Cancelling two two cos cos we get. Cot inverse of cot of x by two. Again, cancelling we get x by two. 
Now we put y in the simplest form. Therefore, its derivative is automatically half. For number 7, let here y equal to log x to the power log x. Taking log on both sides, we get log x times of log of log x. Differentiating, we get with respect to x, we get 1 by y into dy by dx equal to product rule. Log x is treated as fast function. Log of log x whose derivative is 1 by of log x into dy dx of log x only that is 1 by x plus second function log of log x remains unchanged into derivative of first function that is log x whose derivative is 1 by x which gives dy by dx equal to log x to the power log x times of 1 by x plus log of log x by x which is the required derivative for number i here y equal to cos of a cos x plus b sine x therefore dy with dx is cos of something whose derivative is minus sine of something into d by dx of something that is a cos x plus b sine x bring down the first term and whose derivative is a times of cos x derivative minus sine x ni plus b sine x cos x ni simplification becomes this which is the required derivative number nine here y is this taking log on both sides we get log y equal to sine x minus cos x times of log of sine x minus cos x differentiating both sides we get 1 by y into dy by dx applying product rule on right side pass function remains unchanged log of something whose derivative is 1 by of sine x minus cos x into derivative of sine x minus cos x only that is cos x plus sine x plus second function remains unchanged into derivative of first one is for sine x it is cos x for minus cos x it is plus sine x therefore dy by dx transfer y and on the right side we get this and cancelling these two we get this taking out these two common and we get 1 plus log of sine x minus cos x again replacing y by its original value we get this which is the required derivative for number 10 the, here y is equal to x to the power x plus x to the power a plus a to the power x plus a to the power a dy by dx x to the power x plus the derivative of this plus derivative of this plus derivative of this we have um, d by dx of x to the power x whose derivative is a times x to the power a minus 1 plus a x whose derivative is a x into log of a plus a to the power a is constant whose derivative is 0 but u equal to x to the power x Taking log on both sides, we get log u equal to x times of log x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get 1 by u into du by dx equal to apply product rule on differentiation on right hand side. First function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function. We get du by dx equal to x to the power x times of 1 plus log x. Putting this value, this value in the above, we get. For 11, here y is equal to this. Putting the first term on the right side, because, uh, put u and this b, b, where u equal to x to the power x square minus 3, b equal to x minus 3 whole to the power x square. dy by dx is du by dx plus db by dx, which is equation 1. Since u equal to x to the power x square minus 3, taking log on both sides, we get log u equal to x square minus 3 times of log x taking derivative 1 by u into u dash equal to first function remains unchanged into log x is derivative is 1 by x plus log x unchanged into derivative of first function is this which gives u dash that is the u by dx which transfer u on the right side whose value is exactly equal to x to the power x square minus 3 times of x minus 3 by x plus twice x times of log x for since b is equal to x minus 3 whole to the power x square taking log on both sides we get log b equal to x square times of log of x minus 3 
derivative taking derivative on both sides with respect to x we get 1 by b into b dash equal to x squared into whose derivative is 1 by of x minus 3 into 1 plus second function remains second function log of x minus 3 remains unchanged into derivative of x squared is twice x which gives the b dash that is db by dx equal to this putting the values of du by dx and db by dx in one we get dy by dx equal to this which is the required derivative Question number 12. Find dy by dx if y equal to this, x equal to this, t is lying between minus 90 and plus 90. Here y is in terms of t, x is also in terms of t. Therefore dy by dt we get 12 times of 0 plus sine minus cos t whose derivative with respect to t is plus sine t which is again 12 sine of t and x is function of t therefore dx by dt is 10 times of 1 minus cos t. Therefore, dy by dx is dy by dt divided by dx to whose respective values are this and cancelling and uh, transferring sin t into half angle we get this for 1 minus cos t we get 2 sin square t by 2 cancelling 6 by 5 times so cot of t by 2. For question number 13, define dy by dx if y equal to sin inverse x plus sin inverse of root over 1 minus x square where x is lying between minus 1 and 1 including the 2 therefore dy by dx for sine inverse x is derivative is exactly root of 1 by root over 1 minus x square for this 1 by root over 1 minus something squared into derivative of root over of something that is 1 by 2 root 1 by 2 root over of 1 minus x square into derivative of 1 minus x square only that is 0 minus twice x Simplifying, we get this, which is 0. Therefore, derivative of dy by dx is 0. For question number 14, if this equal to 0, where x is in the open interval minus 1, 1, prove that dy by dx is minus 1 by of 1 plus x square. Here, this transferring of our second term on the right side and squaring we get this and factorizing we get x plus y plus x y equal to 0 since x minus y equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation factor and is equal to 0 tar over the first factor may be 0 or second factor may be 0 but second factor is 0 we will see chungani maram the x minus y equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation equation is satisfied to be Pangiba results say y solved or see we get this. Therefore, dy by dx is applying quotient rule, we get this. Lastly, this. Hence pro. For question number 15, if x minus a whole square plus y minus p whole square equal to c square for some c greater than 0, prove that this by this is a constant independent of a and b. Let us try. Differentiating both sides with respect to x for this, we get twice of x minus a plus 2 times of y minus p into derivative of base only. That is y minus p whose derivative with respect to x, y1 minus 0. That is y1. Dividing both sides by 2, we get this. Which is equation 2. First one is equation 1. And uh, again, differentiating equation 2 with respect to x for this, we get 1 minus 0. This, for this, we have to apply product of first function remains unchanged. Derivative of second function for that is y1, whose derivative with respect to x is y2 plus second function y1 remains unchanged into derivative of second fu first function that is y minus p is y1. Solving y minus p from this equation, we get which is equation 3. Using the, y mi the value of y minus p in equation 2, we get x minus a is equal to this, which is equation 4. Putting the values of x minus a and y minus p from 4 and 3 in 1, we get this square plus this square equal to c square. Transferring c y2 square on the c, c square side, we get this. And... Uh, Taking square root on both sides, we get this. And uh, which is y square and so we divide the root of aduga y1 in dy by dx, y2 as in d square, y by dx square, all of this divided by this is c. 
quiz is independent of A and B. So right side the C is the A M so B out D and hence proof. For question number 16, if cos y is equal to x times of cos of a plus y with cos of a does not equal to 1, prove that dy by dx is equal to cos square a of a plus y by sine a. Cos y is equal to dissolving x from this given condition a function, we get this. Differentiating both sides with respect to y, the x by dy for this, we have to apply quotient rule, we get this. And... Uh, in button do mathamaka owner over the dy by dx is equal to this numerate denominator is expansion of sine of a plus y minus y lastly we get this which was to be proved for question number 17 if x equal to this y equal to this find d square y by dx square the given function is parametrically defined function where t is the parameter for this, we have to firstly find out dx by dt and dy by dt. After that, we have to find out dy by dx whose formula is this. And whose value is this? Whose value is this? Cancelling, we get 10t. Now, we have to find out d square y by dx square. But now, which is the function of t? Therefore, taking derivative with respect to x, we get this. Uh, which means this. Which is dy by dx is replaced by its equivalent to 10t. And uh, now it is function of t, it is, it is independent variable is x. We have to convert this independent variable x into t. Which for this, we have to apply same rule here, dt by dx, whose derivative is x squared t, dt by dx or dx by dt. dx by dt is a t cos t, uh, a t cos t. And we get this simplifying, say, sec cube t by a t. And for I think if f of x is cube of modulus of x so that f double dash x exists for all real x and find it. Here f of x is this. f dash of x is by applying power rule but d by dx of modulus of x is plus minus 1. And we get this. Again differentiating both sides we get plus minus 6x. Question number 19. Using mathematical induction, prove that d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n times of x to the power n minus 1 for all positive integer n. We have to prove it by using mathematical induction. Let p n denotes the given statement. When n equal to 1, p o 1 says that d by dx of x to the power equal to 1 times of x to the power 1 minus 1. And whose derivative is 1, whose, whose value is 1, 1 equal to 1, which is true. Therefore, the statement is true for n equal to 1. Therefore, the result is true for n equal to 1. Let P or K be true. Let the statement be true for n equal to K, where K is greater than 1. That is this equal to this. For n equal to K plus 1, replace n by K plus 1, we get this. A d by dx of x to the power k plus 1, which can be written as x to the power k into x, whose derivative by applying product rule we get this. k times k plus 1 times of x to the power k plus 1 minus 1. So the result is true for n equal to k plus 1. If it is true for n equal to k, n equal to k is to me, n equal to k plus 1 is to me. Hence, by principle of mathematical induction, the result is true. Result is true. Question number 20. Using the fact that sine of a plus b is equal to sine of a cos b plus cos of a sine b and differentiation, obtain the sum formula for cosines. Facts is decision naraga cosine singi sum formula put to u differentiation to decision naraga hibane. Here, sine of a plus b is equal to this. The, uh, suppose a and b are functions of t. A m s b is t ki function ni na khala se. Then d by dt of sine of a plus b is equal to d by dt of sine of a cos b plus cos a sine b. For this, cos of a plus b d cos of a plus b sine ki derivative t cos of a plus b lere. But a m s b in a t ki function or abne, we have to multiply by d a by d t plus d b by d t. And for this, 
we have to apply product rule first function remains unchanged cos b to the minus sine b b is a function of t therefore we have to multiply by db by dt plus second function cos b remains unchanged derivative of sine a with respect to t is cos a into da by dt similarly derivative of this gives this and uh, collecting the term containing da by dt and uh, db by dt we get this and taking out the common factor we get this equating both sides d we get cos of a plus b is equal to cos of a cos b minus sine a sine b question number 21 does there exist a function which is continuous everywhere but not differentiable at exactly two points justify your answer everywhere the continuous over point any kaktang the differentiable or the function labra justify your answer if we take f of x equal to modulus of x plus 1 plus modulus of x plus 2 then f is everywhere continuous but not differentiable at x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 2 question number 22 if y equal to this determinant prove that dy by dx is equal to this let us prove y whose expansion in the first row first row gives gives this and y is now function of x therefore dy by dx is f dash x which is constant plus which is function of x whose derivative is this which is constant which is function of t whose derivative is h dash x and which is constant and which is the expansion of this determinant hence proof question number 23 if y equal to this so that this second order determinant uh, question this here y is this taking log on both sides we get log y equal to a cos inverse x times of log e log e whose value is 1 and therefore it becomes a times of cos inverse x taking derivative on both sides with respect to x we get for this this for this kitty we get this and uh, this can be written as this if we see equation 1 again differentiating both sides product rule on the left side first function into derivative of second function plus second function unchanged derivative of first function is this and for right side this derivative is minus y1 multiplying by root over 1 minus x square on both sides we get this and uh, transferring this rate 1 expression using 1 we have to use this and the transferring we get this hence proof 